Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I am going to cover how to calculate the area of a triangle. And remember, area is the amount of space a two-dimensional or flat shape takes up. Our formula for finding area of triangles is at the top of your screen. BH divided by 2, and that means base times the height divided by 2. And that's going to give us the area of the triangles on your screen or any triangle that you are finding the area of. So like I just mentioned, you have some problems on your screen and you have four of them that we are going to work through together. So let's hop right in to number one. So for number one here, the first thing we want to do is write out our formula for the area of a triangle. So area equals base times height divided by two. Now, whenever you have two letters right next to each other in a math problem or in an algebra problem, that means multiplication. Okay, again, two letters right next to each other, that means B times H, base times height. So now, under our formula, we're going to plug in our base and height. So our base of five inches down here, this is the base of our triangle. So five times the height, right? That 12 inches. So I plug in the 12 and we divide that by two. And I'll tell you why at the end of this problem, why we divide by two. So now it's time to solve. So we know five times 12 is 60. And now we need to do 60 divided by two to get to our answer. And notice we have 60 divided by two written as a fraction there. That's fine, a fraction is division. So that just means 60 divided by two, which gets us to 30. Now we need to put our unit of measure, which is inches. And we put a two up here, and we read that as area equals 30 square inches. And we make that a square unit because there are um, square inches that cover that triangle to show how much space that figure takes up. So area equals 30 square inches. Now let's go back to why we divide by two. So we have a triangle here. I'm going to draw some imaginary lines to make this a rectangle slash parallelogram. So in order to find the area of that parallelogram or rectangle, we would do five times 12, the base times the height or length times width. And that would get us 60. But this triangle is exactly half of that rectangle or half of that parallelogram. So we divide by two to give us the area of the triangle or half of that rectangle or parallelogram. So let's go to number two here. And we start by writing out our formula. Area equals base times height divided by two. Now we plug in. Area equals base is 14 meters here times the height of five meters. We do not need the 10 or the seven. And then we need to divide by two. So area equals, well, 14 times five is 70. And we need to divide 70 by two to get our area. So area equals 35 meters squared. And again, we use square units because there are 35 square meters squared one by one meter squares that cover that triangle or fill that area or space. So for number three, let's start by writing out our formula. It's always good habit just to start by writing out the formula. So we have area equals base times height divided by two. Now, hopefully we know that we plug in next. So base right here, the base of the triangle is nine times the height, how tall is that triangle? Three feet, and we divide that by two. 
So we get 9 times 3 is 27 divided by 2. So our area, and this one's actually going to give us a decimal, 13 and a half or 13 and 5 tenths square feet. And lastly, number four here. So we start with the formula. Area equals base times height divided by two. Now we need to plug in. So our base down here is five yards. And we multiply it by our height. Now our height is outside the triangle because we need to see how tall it is. That's fine. Due to the shape of the triangle, we have that measurement outside, but it still is the height. So five yards times six yards, and we divide that by two. So we get area equals 30 divided by two, and area equals 15 square yards. So there you have it. That's how you calculate the area of a triangle. Base times height divided by 2. Hopefully that helped out. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.